Hey guys. Hey guys. So today we are coming to you from Berry. So we live in Southwest Sydney. So from there, it took us about two hours to drive down here. It was a really beautiful drive, um, very scenic, um, not much traffic this weekend, which is really good. And we're gonna enjoy the scenery here and see what there is to do in Berry. So because we didn't stop anywhere on our way down to Berry, first thing was first, we wanted to find somewhere to have a coffee and have something to eat. We found this cute little cafe on Albert Street, which is one street behind the main street. The main street in Berry is Queen Street. As you can see, this cafe is called the Family Tree Cafe. Uh, I believe the owners are of Italian heritage and as you can see there are a few Italian inspired dishes on the menu. Inside the cafe was really light and bright and airy but it was such a beautiful day in Bury that we chose to eat outside. And fun fact that I actually have this plate in my kitchen at home and here it is. I wanted to insert a little clip of it just so you can see but anyway back to our brunch so this is the menu that they had they do have a few uh, vegan options and vegetarian options which was great my breakfast was vegetarian and can we just take a moment to appreciate how pretty my plate looked and the eggs that my husband Michael had were really really super fluffy so really enjoyed having our breakfast there Okay, we just had brunch at the Family Tree Cafe. So now we are we we went for a walk through went for a walk through Berry and we decided to go to the Treat Factory. The Treat Factory. So yeah. we're walking down now towards the Treat Factory. Nice it's, beautiful warm weather here at Berry. It's a little bit further walk than we thought. But we could do with the exercise, so. Burn off the calorie of the breakfast that we had. And just enjoying this beautiful weather. So as the name would suggest, the Treat Factory certainly does have a lot of treats and sweets, but they also have a lot of different ingredients for cooking. So sauces, herbs, spices, different pastas, rice. It's definitely a place that I would recommend checking out if you are in Berry. But as mentioned earlier, it is a bit of a walk from Queen Street. So just keep that in mind if you end up walking down. After the treat shop it was time to head somewhere that I was actually really excited about and that was the Berry Tea Shop which is back on Albert Street actually. We didn't realise that so we headed back up to Albert Street and just check out the interior of this tea shop. It's absolutely beautiful. It's somewhere where I could imagine just cozying up in the corner with a good book, drinking copious amounts of tea and eating scones all afternoon. They had so many nice tea accessories and a really wide variety of teas. I wanted to buy so many things, but unfortunately our kitchen at the moment is a little bit small. So we just ended up getting two teas. One was a matcha and another was a loose leaf blend. 
And since our trip to Berry, we've obviously had time to come home and try the teas and I can honestly say the quality of both were amazing. So we just left Berry, the little town, Queen Street. We had a walk up and down there. It was really nice and now we are going to we're making our way to silo winery um, i've been there once before and it's a really lovely winery it's up on a hill beautiful views from there so we're on our way we can see if we can do a tasting just go for a walk around and see what it's like there so that is our next stop So we were able to do a little tasting here. We were a walk-in, so I would definitely recommend booking before you go, because on the day they were quite short-staffed and they also had a wedding. So they did a good job of looking after us and they also had some really nice wine. So I'll leave a link to the winery in the description below. So we've come up to Drawing Room Rocks um, to do a hike for the last bit of our day trip in Berry. We had a mic but we ditched it because we lost the fluffy piece of the end and the audio yeah, was coming through too scratchy. So apologies if the audio is not that good. Um, but yeah, we're going to do this hike. Apparently it's a very nice view up to Drawing Room Rocks. Three kilometre return, grade four. So we'll see how we go. Yep. We'll see you on the other side. So muddy and slippery here. So you just have to be really careful where you're walking. So we reached the top, we're here at Drawing Room Rocks and this is the amazing view. Just check that out, you can see all the way to the ocean and these beautiful rock formations. Just absolutely stunning. It took us 45 minutes to walk up here. Um, it's a grade four trail, so it's not as difficult as some I've done, but it's, I wouldn't say it's easy. But if you just go at your own pace, you can, you know, you can get there.
Hey guys. Hey guys, it's gone crooked because you're pulling that now. So. My wife is a nag. Hey guys. <laughs>